today we are going to be looking at my new standing desk, which is one of the best investments I've ever made. And not for the reason that you're thinking, which is so that I can stand, which is a great benefit. However, it wasn't the number one reason I bought it. I bought it because it goes very low. So my desk and the standard height for most desks, I think is for someone who is much taller than me. I am five, three and three quarters. And most desks are made for people who are about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, and so it was straining my neck a little to look higher at the monitors, as well as just the placement of my shoulder on the desk for the mouse. So I'm gonna go with you today over the top seven reasons why I chose the Uplift Standing Desk, because I do believe it is the best one out there. Uh, and, you know, if you are trying to look, because there are so many different standing desks out there, um, I'm just gonna, hopefully, if any of these resonate with you, maybe that's a good reason for you to pick it as well. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do product reviews like today on Saturdays. So the reason I chose the Uplift Standing Desk was seven different reasons. First, it had the highest ratings and I had watched a ton of videos. I had read a lot of reviews and blog posts and tons of other things and trying to pick which one was the best because they all kind of do the same thing, right? They go up, they go down, um, you hit a button, maybe you don't hit a button, they have settings. Uh, and this one just had some different ANSI ratings and I'm gonna get this word wrong, BANSI, ban BIFMA, BIFMA ratings, um, that it was certified and standard for all of those corporate America sort of things that people look for in procurement, I guess. Uh, the second thing was it was sturdy and well constructed. So I did not worry at all that it was going to tip over or, um, you know, lean or get warped or anything because no one had reported any of those problems with the Uplift brand. The third thing is it's fast. So I did notice some of them go up and down pretty slow and not that you're like in a lightning speed to get the desk to go up to standing, but you know, who likes waiting? I don't. So I just chose this one because it has, it is literally the fastest one on the market. The fourth thing is it goes lower than the standard. So According to Bifma, it can fit somebody who is just five feet tall with when they're sitting and also somebody who's six foot three when they're standing. Now, I'm not too worried about the standing because I'm so short. Um, I'm five foot three and three quarters, but for the sitting right now, um, it is the ideal height. I can put my seat down at a low level where my feet actually touch the ground and I can also lower the desk height so it's very comfortable for my eyes and for my neck to look at the screen and where everything else is placed or I could just move it around if I feel like it. So that is a huge, that was probably the, like the biggest number one reason on the whole list. Um, I definitely did not want black. I didn't want brown. I didn't want gray. Um, I, everything in here is white and so I wanted it to match all of my furniture. So the uplift came in white and it was also in stock and white because some of them do come in white but they weren't in stock a lot of things just right now because there is an unprecedented number of people working from home and ordering home office supplies it has been hard to find inventory for a lot of different things including desks um number six was it was easy to put together so i uh put it together by myself usually when i put things together i have to call my dad and he's like my dad's very handy construction kind of person and so i will have to facetime with him to do anything basic uh in the house or use um, any sort of drilling equipment or anything else. But this one I was able to do on my own in, I don't wanna say 10 minutes, but it did not take much more than that, maybe 10, 15 minutes and it was done. And it was also while Ben was totally incapacitated, so I did have to put everything together myself. So it was a little hard putting the glass tabletop on by myself, but I still was able to manage in case you were also single and living alone or just happen to be alone because of COVID, uh, you should feel comfortable knowing you can put this together just fine on your own. The seventh was it is able to take any tabletop that you want. So a lot of them you had to hook the legs 
in or the frame into whatever desktop you were using. Now it does come with a desktop option if you want, but I already have these glass tabletops. Like I said, everything is white. It all already matched. So I didn't want my own, I didn't want to buy a new tabletop mostly because a lot of them are wood and I don't like wood. Um, I really just like glass and steel and anything but wood, I think, because when I was growing up, my mom, our entire house was wood. She's always like, wood is better quality. And then she had different classifications of what's better oak versus pine versus maple versus cherry oak. I never listened because I just knew the whole time growing up, I will never have wood in my house ever. So um, I just didn't want a wood top and they were all coming with wood tops. So the nice thing about this too is the glass table, obviously you can't drill into glass, in the videos that you see for installation, you'll see that everyone's drilling into it to like secure it. You don't have to do that. I did not do that and it was just fine. Now, when it comes to cost, that actually wasn't a factor because this was actually probably five times more than all of the other standing desks out there. So total, I think the desk itself was 597 and I did buy the commercial version of the desk. I'll leave all the specs below. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope that you can buy a standing desk too if that's something that you would like. And you can always buy, I know they have those tabletop ones, but it's just too much clutter for me. I just didn't want something else on my desk. And that's why I just bought one that goes up and down, like the whole thing. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.